How it's made, car engines. Hello friends, welcome once again to our channel. Have you ever thought about what keeps your car moving? How does your car reach from the start point to the destination? What lies beneath the hood of your vehicle? We have all of your answers. Well, for all you car lovers and those learning about cars, you are on the right channel. Today on How It's Made, let us learn about car engines and what goes behind manufacturing car engines. However, before we commence, please make sure to subscribe to our channel, How It's Made. Also, do click on the bell icon to receive notifications on our informative videos published regularly on our channel. Be with us till the end of the video to understand the process of development of car engines. Knowing the working of car engines. What is it you mainly look for while you shop for a car? The car engine is always the main deciding factor. An engine is a component in the car that allows your vehicle to move at varying speeds. In simple terms, an engine is the heart of your vehicle. An engine is a machine built to transform the heat from burning gas into a force that propels the wheels of the vehicle to move. Were you aware that some types of car engines work on internal combustion while the rest run on external combustion? In an internal combustion engine, the fuel enters the cylinder and undergoes combustion contained within the cylinder. On the other hand, in an external combustion engine, the combustion takes place outside the cylinder followed by the heat moving to the cylinder. A steam engine is an apt example of an external combustion engine. A gasoline car engine converts gasoline into motion to move a vehicle. In order to create motion from gasoline, burn the gasoline inside an engine. Car engines are generally evaluated by the layout of the engine and the configuration of the cylinders. Understanding the parts of a car engine. Car engines are designed and devised around sealed and resilient metal cylinders. Most of your cars entail four to eight cylinders. Let us briefly look at the most vital components of your car engine that power your car. Engine block. An engine block, the primary component of the engine, is a base that contains the cylinders and other components of an internal combustion engine. The engine block comprises the crankshaft, pistons, camshaft, along with 4 to 12 cylinders depending on the type of the automobile. The engine block has many holes to hold the cylinders as well as provide water and oil flow paths to cool and lubricate the engine. The engine block is manufactured with sand casting to combat the extreme pressure arising from combustion. A cracked engine block causes overheating, smoke arising from the exhaust and this is generally identified on the side of the engine. Crankshaft Situated at the lower region of the engine block, the crankshaft turns the piston's up and down motion into a reciprocal motion. This component in a car engine, which is joined to the pistons through a connecting rod, converts energy from reciprocating motion into rotation. Pistons Termed as a moving component, the piston transfers the force from the gas which expands in the cylinders to the crankshaft. This helps to move the wheels. The piston in a car engine helps to translate the fuel into energy to drive the car ahead on the road. The piston shifts up and down as the spark plugs fire and accordingly compresses the air or fuel mix. The piston rings assist in forming compression thereby reducing the traction from the continuous rubbing of the cylinder. Damaged or broken cylinders, pistons, piston rings lead to rattling sounds, failed emissions test and coloured smoke from the exhaust. Hence, one should always be aware of such problems. Camshaft Situated in the engine block or the cylinder heads, the camshaft controls the input of fuel as well as the expulsion of exhaust fumes. To be precise, it helps in regulating the timing of opening and closing of valves. Being a rotating component, camshaft additionally assists in transferring the rotary motion from the crankshaft to an up and down motion to control the movement of the lifters and to move the rockers, push rods and valves. Cylinder Head the cylinder head is connected to the engine through cylinder bolts and is further sealed with a head gasket to restrict the loss of gases. The cylinder head houses several items such as valve springs, lifters, valves, rockers, camshafts, among others. This helps to control passageways that allow the flow of intake air into the cylinders during the intake stroke along with exhaust passages that remove exhaust gases during the exhaust stroke. Timing Belt or Chain the belt encompasses a heavy-duty rubber with cogs to grasp the pulleys from the camshaft and crankshaft. Similar to your personal bicycle, a chain in an engine envelops the pulleys with teeth. These components provide the perfect timing for the engine to function smoothly. Learning the manufacturing process of car engines Now that we have some basic understanding of all the components, let us quickly understand what goes into developing a car engine. The engine block is the largest component in a vehicle that converts combustion into mechanical energy. Step 1. Previously, the engine blocks of cars were made of iron. Today, to attain fuel efficiency, the blocks are made of lightweight aluminium alloy. The first stage commences with the melting of aluminium. Step 2. As discussed earlier, an engine is a one-piece component cast from a sand mold. To prepare the sand mold, a mixture of zircon sand, hardener along with glue is created. The combination of these aforementioned materials largely helps to withstand the temperatures of molten metal. This is used for only one casting. Step 3. 
Each mold is made up of sections called cores that fit together. A machine injects the above mentioned mixture into a master mold made of iron. It injects a gas that activates the hardener which solidifies the mixture. A base core is formed that easily helps other cores to attach while traveling down an assembly line. The next core molds the engine block cylinder walls which will house the pistons. Iron liners are inserted into a desired number of cores. This activity prevents the aluminium walls of the cores from wearing out due to abrasion. The created base core travels down an assembly line and additional desired cores are added. The cores for the engine block through which oil flows are coated with powder. This is done to keep sand particles from sticking to the aluminium and mixing it into the oil. Step 4. The molten iron aluminium is poured into the combined core mold which is made of sand. Moving on, the cast engine block spends a certain number of required hours in the thermal sand reclaim oven. During this process, the glue breaks down. This further allows the sand to cascade. Were you aware that the provided heat treatment of the block helps to strengthen the mechanical properties of the engine? Step 5. In the next stage, the cast aluminium engine blocks emerge. During this development, minor finishing of the engine is required. The robots turn upside down to get rid of any loose sand. Furthermore, rough machining of the metal is executed with the help of computer-guided tooling equipment. The engine plant performs the final machining before installing the engine parts. Step 6. The engine block produced by the factory passes through an automated vision system that performs checks on the engine. Quality checks are carried out in order to avoid engine issues at a later stage. This is followed by the commencement of the final machining. In the assembling and testing stage, further tasks such as installing the pistons into the cylinder bores and attaching pistons to the crankshaft are conducted. The designated engine assembler closes the back of the engine block, tightens bolts and accordingly arranges wires. The assembler then moves the engine to the motor vehicle assembly line. Now we have understood that an engine plays an important power required for the smooth functioning of your car. The engine oil keeps all moving parts perfectly lubricated for minimal wear and tear, hence it is mandatory to change the engine oil regularly. Furthermore, one should immediately check the engine oil and antifreeze fluids during an inspection to avoid a fuel leak into the car. At any given point, do not ignore the check engine light. Replacing the filter leads to a smooth and free flow of clean fuel to the fuel pump and engine. Develop a habit to check your rubber belts for cracks and signs of wear as we all know that rubber belts are vital links when an engine is in motion. Such practices ensure that your car engine runs efficiently and smoothly. On an ending note, practicing smooth driving will result in extending your car's engine life. One should know that car engines are engineered and designed to run at a constant speed. We know that you would definitely want to get the most out of your car. Regular engine checks will help you save a lot of money on maintenance and replacement. And that's all for today. If you liked today's video, please click on the thumbs up icon below to appreciate our efforts. Kindly spare some time to enter your comments in the comment section down below. Needless to say, please subscribe to our channel How It's Made to support us and to also remain updated with the latest informative episodes. Thank you very much for watching, stay tuned for more and goodbye.